Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and I want to uh, update and share information about uh, something that is uh, changed its name but it's an amazing place. If you want to take a peek and look at old magazines, this is the uh, place to go. It used to be called American Radio History. It's now called the World Radio History dot com page. And this has a lot, and I mean a lot. You will have so much reading here of technical electronics, radio related, DXing, amateur radio of you know from like the thirties and even the twenties, all through pretty actual stuff that isn't too bad. A lot of magazines that have long gone. What you could do is, of course, go through the different options here. You'll see that each category has subcategories of all sorts of publications. But also, you can search for your favorite by going to the find a specific title. You can search for one also. So, for example, if you want to go through all the monitoring times that existed, well, you can go to the M letter, and here you will see monitoring times will be in this uh, list uh, here it is and here we go you have all the monitoring times in PDF format from January February 1982 all through the last one that was December 2012 once you click on it you actually have a PDF of that monitoring times magazine show up lots of nice stuff in there even though there's information that isn't good in, uh, anymore there's still a lot of really cool articles about you know tips of listening and that that can still be used today uh, another one here for example if you go into uh, letter P uh, you can check out um, what's PQRS here's P here's um, so you can look at popular communications uh, that is right here. And here we go. You'll have all the Popcom magazines from 1982 once again when they started. And uh, up to the last one in December of 2013. So you just click on an issue. Once again, it's a PDF. You can save it to your computer. If you have a tablet computer, you can check that out. Really, really cool to see this. And um, there's so much more. I mean, there's tons of electronics publications, radio publications, amateur radio stuff, uh, even magazines you probably never heard of that deal with radio and electronics and so on. So uh, the link is in the description below the video, but it's easy to remember, worldradiohistory.com, and you will have for many months of reading. And it's fun to look at old magazines from the good old days or you know, an electronics publication from like 1945 and check out what they offer and what they're talking about in the tube receivers at the time and, and also the prices and the ads and stuff. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.